Hello learners. Now let us see how to show that uh, cosy by two plus cosy by two plus cosy by two is equal to this uh, product on the RHS. If it is given that a plus b plus c is equal to pi, but for this, for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my RHS. I'm going to start with my RHS because coming from LHS is a bit difficult, guys. Trust me, it's a bit difficult. Uh, you need to you know be very meticulous. It's a bit difficult. So rather than that, it's better to go from start from RHS whenever you know questions like this pi minus pi pi minus b and pi minus or something like this. Let's keep it fine. So yeah, let's get started. This is my first. I'm just marking this a plus b plus c is equal to pi as one because so that I could use it wherever it's needed. Okay, fine. This is my RHS. Now listen to me carefully. Again, I'm saying p attention, p attention. Okay. Now here. Here I am going to write four as two into two. Okay, four as two into two, and I am going to group two cos uh, one two. I am going to send here like this. Okay, see, I wrote four four as two into two. Okay, one two I am going to send it inside this bracket, and then another two will be outside. And I am going to group cos pi minus e by four, cos pi minus b by four as one like this as a product. And then cos pi minus e by four will be outside. Next, if you guys remember, uh, you guys must have used this uh, quite often. Cos of a plus b plus cos a minus b is nothing but two cos a cos b. But here we are going to use the reverse of it. Two cos a cos b is nothing but cos of a plus b plus cos a minus b. Two cos a cos b is nothing but cos of a plus b plus cos a minus b. Now here, if you will observe, here if you will observe, in place of a there is pi minus a by four. In place of b there is pi minus b by four. So that's why I have like uh, two cos. Uh, this is nothing but equal to cos of pi minus a by four plus pi minus b by four. And cos pi minus e by four minus of pi minus b by four. Like in place, just just this formula only. Just the fact that in place of a and b, there's pi minus e by four and pi minus b by four. Makes sense. Let's go ahead. Now to say, uh, now what would this be? Means if you observe the denominator is same, okay, four and four. So this would be nothing but two pi, two pi minus of a plus b. Okay, two pi, two pi minus e minus b, which is nothing but two pi minus of a plus b. And here. If I'll multi uh, again the denominator is same. Okay, if I'll multiply this minus to this, I'd get minus pi plus b inside. Okay, as I mentioned, as I mentioned. Okay, now next, next. This one, what I'm gonna do? This one here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this denominator to both of them. I'm gonna split this denominator to both of them. Like, uh, two pi by four minus a plus b by four. Okay, so. That would be nothing but this pi by two minus of a plus b by four, and here pi and pi minus pi would like they would cancel each other, and I'm left out with b minus a by four, and other things are same. Okay, I'm going a bit slow here because I know it's a bit, you know, tough. Uh, it could be a bit tough if you are listening to the first time. Now next, what is cos pi by two minus theta? What's cos pi by two minus theta? Sine theta. So this would be nothing but sine a plus b by four. Next, next. Here, if you will observe, I wrote b minus a as a minus b, okay? Because cos of minus theta is cos theta. You see, uh, I can write b minus a as minus of a minus b, and cos of minus theta is cos theta. So it would be nothing but ultimately cos a minus b. Right? Fine. Why I wrote like this? It looks nice, right? Like, see, a plus b is there, and b minus a it doesn't look that. You could do it directly also. It's fine. It will give you the it will fetch you the same answer. But like uh, for the presentation wise. It will look neat. So it, I have done this. Okay, fine. Now next, next, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna multiply this cos uh, pi minus c by four to each of these. Okay, and then two also. So basically, I'd be left out with this: two sine a plus b by four into cos pi minus c by four, and two cos a minus b by four cos pi minus c by four. Now here, here again, uh, some formula would be involved. Formula will will not. Please listen to me. See, this is of the form two sine a cos b. Okay, two sine a cos b. Two sine a cos b is nothing but sine of a plus b plus sine a minus b. Okay. Now here, this one we already used in the beginning. Two cos a cos b is nothing but this something of the form two cos a cos b. Okay, two cos a cos b is nothing but equal to cos of a plus b plus cos a minus b. Fine. So those two formula I'm going to use it. Now see, let me put the entire thing. Now I'll explain peacefully. See. Two, two sine a cos b is nothing but equal to sine of a plus b plus sine a minus b. So okay, let me just take you. So here my a would be for the first one a would be a plus b by four and b would be pi minus c by four. 
So that is why I get this. Okay, let me just show you this. One. Okay, I'll put the entire uh, sine of a plus b plus sine a minus b. So in place of a, there is a plus b by four, and place of b, there is pi minus c by four, and then there is sine a minus b. Okay, one more thing to observe, guys. See how I use brackets. See how I use brackets very carefully. See, I use the square bracket, like, uh, and then within that, I use this uh, parenthesis. Okay, so it looks so neat and you know so nice to see. Like in one shot, you can understand what's going on, like where the bracket is open, where the bracket is closing. I'm using two. You could use one type of bracket also. That's totally fine. But if you use square bracket like this, it'll make the presentation look good. Like one square bracket, and within that, I use parenthesis. Fine, like the uh, these brackets, so that it would make things uh, look neat and it things will appear in order. Now here. For the second, for this one, two cos a cos b equal to cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. In place of a, there is a minus b by four, and in place of b, there is pi minus c by four. Fine, fine. Now next, next, going forward, going forward. Now, as I told you, there will be good amount of simplification involved in this. Here, if here the denominators are matching, okay, four and four, so it a plus b plus pi minus c, and here a plus b minus pi plus c by four. Okay, this minus would get multiplied to both the terms. Okay, please don't uh, forget that. Don't just keep uh, minus two pi. Like that's why bracket plays a major role. This shows that you are gonna multiply this minus two, these two terms. Now next, following that, here also it would be a minus b plus pi minus c by four, and here it's going to be a minus b minus pi plus c by four. Now next, yeah, these are the simplifications. Fine. But before that, what I did is before instead of that, what I did is like you could do that. Like uh, what I did is basically uh, a plus b I wrote it as pi minus c. Okay, a plus b I wrote it as pi minus c in the first bracket because these two would match. Instead, like as I explained, you could do like that also, like a plus b plus pi minus c, and then you could show that a plus b is pi minus c and two times pi minus c. That's also totally okay. And then next here, as I mentioned, a plus b plus c minus pi. And here, uh, here in the in this bracket, I have a minus b. What I what I did is basically a and pi are brought it since they are positive terms and minus of b plus c and minus of b plus c. And here also, if you'll observe a plus c, like minus pi plus c, it would become so a plus c minus pi minus b. I'd get here. Like the negative terms are pushed it to one side and positive terms are kept it to one side. That's the standard. Now this would be nothing but two times pi minus c by four. Okay, this would be like pi minus c by four plus pi minus c. What a plus a? Two a, right? Here in terms of a, a there is pi minus c by four. This would be two times pi minus c by four. Sine two times pi minus c. By four. Next, what is a plus b plus c? If you remember the initial condition, it's pi. So this would be nothing but sine pi minus pi by four. Okay, that's what I wrote it here. That's what I wrote it here. Now next, not just that. Here. Here, if you'll observe, in place of b plus c, I wrote it as pi minus c. In place of b plus c, I wrote it as pi minus c. Why? Because a plus b plus c is pi, right? A plus b plus c is pi. So basically, I can write b plus c as pi minus c. Okay, b plus c, I can write it as pi minus c. And if you'll observe, likewise, if you'll observe, a plus c, I wrote it as pi minus c. A plus c, I wrote it, wrote it as pi minus b. And I kept it as from 1. And I kept it as one, from 1, if you'll observe. Because like instead of like writing entire thing, if you just put a small reference, this should suffice. Okay, this would be sine zero. Sine zero is nothing but zero. Now here two ones are two twos are they would get cancelled. And here minus pi plus a. Okay, pi minus pi will get cancelled. Two a by four I'd get. Here cos minus two b by four I'd get. This is what you have. Okay, and here this is nothing but pi pi minus c by two. After the what I did is I split the denominator to both of them. Okay. So pi by two minus c by two and sine zero in the next step it will be zero. You need not show this also, but I showed it. Fine. But you are for your better understanding. And now just that after that, after that, uh two ones are two, twos are so cos a by two and here cos b by two I'd get. Okay. As I told you, cos of minus theta is nothing but cos theta. So that's why I'd have uh, here I'd be getting just cos b by two. Now cos c by two plus cos a by two plus cos b by two. If you rearrange, you will be getting cos a by two plus cos b by two plus cos. Oh, that was a bit a bit long journey, and the knowledge that we required for some good amount of focus. 
so thank you for uh, staying with me until uh, now not just this question i made many more questions related to trigonometry you can find the link for the playlist in the description and if you like this video please hit the like button and not just that if this is your first time coming across my channel please do subscribe to thank you